मैम सेंटर में सेंटर में
online games, but they're all over here, okay? So, uh, you're ready to do this with me? I have some questions that we have collected from the audience, and I really want to know what your answers are. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? See, I am the human lie detector here, because I know you. So, if you are not honest with these answers, I'm going to call you up. I'll try my best. Okay, so let's do this. Yes. I'm going with this side. This is my side. <laughs> this just worked out very good. So, how do you feel about being the face of Solid Engineer? I was honestly thrilled when they approached me and when I finally got the opportunity to work with this plan because I've been using it for so long. Okay, so one ritual that you follow before leaving the house every day? Um, well, definitely putting on sunscreen every single day. I think SPF is very important, but before leaving the house, I always make it a point to say bye. To who? Dad. I was going to say to my dog, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but to dad as well. She honestly is the favorite child. Like, dad has called me up today four times to make sure that I take care of Kushi, but not once has he asked me if I'm okay. <laughs> okay, what's the last body care product that you finished at your last time? Um, it was actually the Boom Boom Scrub. I tend to go through a lot of those actually. So the Boom Boom Sorry? The Boom Boom Scrub. So, you're known for your dad rules. While I know the story of almost all of them, um, do you want to share one the story of one tattoo with the audience here? Well, I think we can share the, the story of the tattoo we got together, maybe. It's only fitting because it's both of us sitting over here. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, we went to New York. I don't know where. That's yeah, the other one. This one. Yeah. Is it here or the other one? Come yeah, on. I can't even keep track anymore. <laughs> but we got puzzle piece tattoos. Should we show it? So Kushan and I have matching tattoos. It's two puzzle pieces that fit together when we stand like next to each other. And we put our arms next to each other. How many years has it been? I think it's only two years next to the world. Now we just have to convince our other two siblings to get matching tattoos. We can all have a puzzle piece connecting each other. What's your favorite way to unwind after a long dish? I think just taking a really long hot shower. Like steaming, piping hot, and then sitting on my couch and watching a movie. That's probably. I, mean, okay. I, I thought it would be like Netflix and maybe like Hubby Panda. Post the really hot shower, I think. One thing from South Janeiro Range that you would give me for Christmas. Well, considering you took it from my house yesterday, I think I'm going to give you the, the Sharosa perfume. Because I know that you use those a lot. I approve this message. I want a whole box, not just one. I had a box laying on my on my couch the other day, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna take this." So I was like, "Yeah, it's great, it's fine." This is gonna have to smell good, okay? Like it's a box. The one thing that you always carry in your bag. Uh, I think I have lip balm in every single bag and in every single room of the house because I always, always, always use it and I'm really bad at having a, like tearing my lips <laughs> so I always have lip balm with me everywhere One song that you're wiping right now? Um, There's a song that I found on Instagram called Those Eyes by Mew West It's a really like cute romantic song See, this is how I know I'm not Gen Z. I have no idea what she's talking about. I found her on Instagram. It's a really sweet song. Who here has heard this song? Maybe I'm the only one. <laughs> you would know. This, this answer is ridiculous. Choose another answer because none of us know this song. Then I've been listening to this song called uh, Essay Kese. Anyone who's that song? Yes. yes. That song is. This is accepted. This is because okay. we can now hear it in our heads. Essay Kese also. One body care mistake that you used to make, but you don't anymore. 
um, I used to leave the house without putting sunscreen on and that was really bad because I read so many articles about how you can protect yourself from the sun so definitely skipping out on sunscreen was a bad idea Like body sunscreen as well as face sunscreen? I like to say that I put body sunscreen on every day but does everyone really put body sunscreen? I don't know! Yeah but you're like an anomaly who like takes care of everything and everyone else Okay, so with this, we're at the end of our audience questions. Thank you guys so much. Um, now I think we're going to do some media bites. I'm unsure of what we're doing now. Yeah, so we're going to do pictures and media bites. I'm going to be handing over this mic. Hope you all have fun. I had a lot of fun.